Hey guys and welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be doing a quick get ready with me video um so i'm just going to go through my makeup process and just kind of show you guys how we fully get this look so i'm just doing my eyebrows i kind of did them a little bit off camera i'm just cleaning them up here with my juvia's place concealer i will link everything in the description below per usual After that, I'm just taking my um, eyeliner and doing two baby wings on each side. Lashes today, I'm wearing the Style San Vase from the Merlot Collection Lashes. Perfect. Now moving on to foundation. So today I decided to use the um, Maybelline Full Coverage Foundation. Um, I don't remember the color, but like I said, I'm gonna put everything in the description bar below. And I'm just using this to cover my entire face. After that, I'm using my Wet n Wild Contour Stick. Well, it's actually a foundation stick, but I'm gonna use this to contour um, my forehead and my cheekbones. I'm using a Real Techniques brush, um, a buffing brush to just blend all of that product in. After that, I'm gonna set with my um, Too Faced Ethereal Setting Powder. It's one of my favorite setting powders ever. Under the eye, I'm gonna use the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder to set my setting powder. Um, I do this because it smooths out any lines and wrinkles that the setting powder just couldn't set um, because it's more finely milled and um, it just gives you a smoother finish. After that, I'm taking my Carity Blush. This is in the color um, Peach Balm or Blush Balm or something like that. And then I'm gonna use the same highlighter out of that same kit to highlight my cheekbones. I'm going through with my e.l.f. eyebrow gel to set my brows. Lips today, I'm using Chestnut by MAC Cosmetics and then I'm gonna go over with Peachy Tings. This is a gloss from Narcissistic. Um, she's a black owned business and I will tag her below because I love this lip gloss. I'm going over with Skin Deep by Sephora Collection and then to top it off I'm using my um, Baby Pink Chanel lip gloss. Right now I'm just using my Beige and Gal bronzer to give me a little glow. So before we move on to this, I'm going to show you guys how and yes, how I made this wig. So here we go. So first things first, you wanna bleach um, your hair. This hair came from Statuesque Hair. Um, I got, let me see, I don't wanna lie. I think I got two 20s and an 18 um, as far as bundles. And then I got a an 18 inch um, closure. I'm gonna, again, put everything below so you guys um, can go straight to her website and order this hair. So I decided to take this hair all the way up to a 27. Um, I ended up bleaching the knots and the closure at the same time, but as you guys are gonna see just a bit in this video, I bleached the closure twice because it didn't lift as high as I wanted to the first, it didn't lift as high as I wanted it to the first time. So I went ahead and bleached it again. The bleach I'm using is from Pravana. Um, you can get it from Sally's or any, not Sally's, I'm sorry, uh, Cosmoprof or any professional um, hair store. And um, I'm using a 30 vol developer um, and then I let it process for about 30 minutes. But again, I did have to do it twice because this is how it looked the first time and I did not like it. So I bleached it again. And thank God, like this is some really good hair because it survived through two sessions of bleach. So... I was actually pretty excited about that. 
I don't think I showed in this video how I bleached the other hair, but here I am showing you guys how I colored it. So as you guys can see, the rest of my hair is like super, super red. And then the front was kind of like this carrot orange. So I mixed um, Cajun Spice and Ginger from um, Temptations from Kiss Beauty Products. And I just used that to really focus on coloring the closure first. But then I decided that I didn't like how red the other part of the wig was so I just ended up dipping the whole thing inside of this tub and recoloring it with the new hair color so after this process and I washed and everything I did like the way that it turned out um, it wasn't too too red but it wasn't too orangey there was like perfectly in the middle so I kind of liked that it had like certain streaks of the ginger and most of it was kind of like this pretty bronze um, red color which I did like I used a bunch of color, so I went and bought four bottles of this hair color. So if you guys don't want it to be as you know rich, you can use less, but always buy more and then end up using less. I'd rather do that than the opposite, you know, the other way around. Just my breath right quick He ain't never seen it in a dress like this He ain't never even been impressed like this Probably why I got him quiet on the set like zip Like it, love it, need it, bad it, take it, own it, steal it, fast The boys stop playing after that, I thoroughly rinsed his hair out. So you want to basically rinse it until the water runs clear um, because you don't want to have this on your head and then it's leaking color because it's going to get all of your clothes and we just don't want that. So I rinsed it pretty well and then I washed it with some color safe shampoo. Um, the one that I used was from Maui Moisture. Um, I really like this brand. I use it on my real hair. So I figured why not use it on my wig. So I ended up washing this twice and I don't think I showed it in the video, but I let it um, air dry and then blow dried it straight. So this is how the hair looks after I washed it and it's uh, this is the second time that I colored it. So we're going to go ahead and blow dry it. So I didn't show the whole process, but I just kind of went section by section and just put a, um, a vent brush to it and just blow dried it as straight as I could. After that, I put a bunch of little wand curls in it and this is how it looked directly after I was done. So back to the video, um, I ended up just redefining the part. And as you guys could see, I kind of over bleached the knots a little bit. So I'm gonna go through with my rat tail comb and I'm gonna just redefine the part in the front. So I'm gonna use like this dark burgundy color to um, redefine just the edges of my part, make it as straight as possible. And then I'm gonna use the concealer method to make it look as natural as possible as far as um, scalp goes. So this is me just making the wig super, super flat. And I followed with some foaming mousse to just um, make it look as, as natural as it could. So this is a concealer brush that I'm using and this is just some eyeshadow that I'm placing right there on the root just to make the part, you know, a little more straight. After this, I did the same thing, but I didn't use the comb. I used just another concealer brush to define the part in the center with some skin colored concealer. Now, I could have left this hair just like this, but I decided that I wanted a different type of curl, so I just kept literally combing and brushing it until the curls looked how I wanted them to look. Um, I used, I think this is like an inch and a half um, size curling iron from Chi, and I just curled the ends and flipped them this way and that way until it looked the way that I wanted, wanted it to look. So while I'm like curling and styling this, I just want to say that this is some of the best hair that I've ever had. You guys watched me bleach this hair twice, mind you, and color it twice. And the hair is still held up. Like it's not shedding. It's not um, 
it's not tangled it's still it's not fried i love this hair so much use code stat 15 and get 15 percent off of your order make sure you guys follow them on instagram follow me on instagram subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications so you don't miss what's next bye